mirror got it. What does it say? It's a boy. It's a boy. Ah, oh, we've got a baby! Yay! Wrapped in toilet roll. <laughs> Hello! They're all looking very proud of themselves. It's like the nativity! Except they're in a sink and not a manger. <laughs> I knew my mirror wouldn't get off with it this year. That's so cute. What are you going to call them? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I need to think about that while we're in the shower. Oh, it's very cute. Right, we're 16. Oh, it's a small one. What is that? It's for water on the fence. Oh, so it is. Sits on the fence and gives them a drink. Perfect. I've already got the food. The food, that's right. Number 16, where are you? Oh, it's up there. Cat. A cat? Two cats. Two cats. And so it is, it's a cat and a kitten. That'll go over the other cat that you got. Wonder if the dog will chase them. Oh, there they are down there. Yeah. <laughs> Where is the dog? The dog's in that one. Oh, yeah. Vlogmas day 17. We're nearly there, folks. We're nearly there. I wasn't planning on doing much today. I was going to have a pretty chill day. However, when Brooke was doing our countdown today, you know how we've got the, the elf countdown and the Santa one there, and she went, oh, mum, there's only nine days till Christmas. I went, ah. Oh. You know how you get that sinking feeling in your stomach? And I thought, I've not even started rapping yet. And then I thought, worse than that, I don't even know where everything is. Because I started getting organised quite early this year, I was stashing things away as soon as I was getting them, and I honestly can't remember where I've hidden everything. <laughs> so, today is going to be spent looking everything out. I don't think I'll have time to start wrapping today, but usually I wrap so just a couple of days before Christmas, you know, the last couple of days that the kids are at school, but then it occurred to me today as well that the kids are finishing early this year. They're finishing on the 20th because that's a Friday. And yeah, they're going to be around the house from then on. So really this week is the only week that I've got to get everything wrapped and organised. So the plan just now is I'm going to look everything out and put them into piles according to what's Abby's and what's Brooks. That is the plan for the moment. So... While I'm doing that, I'm going to let you watch a little Asda haul that I got last night. And as you'll see, I'm raging at Asda. The, they just messed everything up. Um, so I'm going to show you that. And I'm also going to show you 
a, a tiny little Christmas tree decoration haul from B&Q because Jack was there yesterday before the football and noticed they had a really good sale on. And you'll have seen Brooke putting them on the tree this morning in one of the little clips. So I'm going to show you them and then the Asda haul. And while you're watching that, I'm going to go and try and find all my hiding places for all the presents. I'll see you in a wee while. So Jack and Abby are just in from the football and they had gone to be in queue earlier before the game and they were selling a lot of Christmas decorations for 50 pence. So I got this bauble. Oh, the polar bear with the scarf and the lights. That's cute. Oh, and the reindeer dress in the tree. That's gorgeous. That should have been a pound. Yep, should have been a pound and it was 50 pence. We got ceramic penguin. That's very cute. It's got a wee snowball. And were they all supposed to be a pound, Jack? Oh no, that was meant to be three pound. Was that 50 pence as well? Yeah, they were all 50 pence. Wow. That's very heavy, actually. Another bauble. This one's got an elf on the parcels. I think it's at the North Pole. Oh, there's Santa. Oh, and an angel. That's gorgeous. So that one should have been a pound. 50 pence. We've got a ceramic Santa. He's lovely. He should have been two pound. And, whoops, a lovely ceramic snowman. And he should have been two pound too. So, so that's nine pounds worth of Christmas decorations for two pound fifty. Bargain. Right, my Asda delivery has arrived and I am raging because half of it is missing. They've not delivered any of my frozen stuff and one of the substitutions that they were meant to give us um, we'd ordered steak bakes and they were giving us steak and gravy pies they've not been delivered either so they've just had a rather nasty email some rather nasty feedback and uh, I've requested the refund but anyway I'll show you what I did get I'm going to show you these first because I need to hide them these are for the Christmas Eve boxes so a, a, one of the Nutella packs each they love Nutella and they're always going on about wanting a jar to just sit and eat with a spoon. Well, I don't mind them eating one that size with a spoon. And the Galaxy Hot Chocolates. Um, Abby doesn't like the hot chocolate. The chocolate on a stick that I got in Primark. So I've got these for Abby. And there was a deal for, I don't know, it was four for a pound or something. So uh, that's why there's so many of them. So I need to go and hide these and then I'll come back to you. Now I should have said at the start of this haul, this is a sort of festive haul I would say rather than a healthy haul. We have got a lot of our usual stuff but we've got a lot of, um, sort of nice indulgent things too. Or at least we were meant to have. Right, so some of the usual stuff fruit wise. I got three packs of grapes and three packs of watermelon for fruit pack lunches because they're three for a pound, only need five, but in fact only need four this week. Um, but she likes to have them as a snack when she comes in as well. Abby's cheeseburger that she always likes to have. These for the dogs, I'm not going to say the words or they'll go mad. Um, Remember, as long as you freeze them without cooking them, they're okay to give to the dogs because the bones won't splinter. Never cook them and then give them to the dogs. These are also for the dogs as treats. Some little easy peeler clementine sweet clems, that's what they are, um, for Jack. Some bananas for me and Jack, since I'm not keto. I love, I'm loving banana on Weetabix just now. And... Uh, yeah, I'm glad I just ordered the one pack of five because they're perfect for me to eat, but I don't think Jack's going to like most of them. He likes his bananas pretty much green. Um, snacky things. Now, Tracy, in your haul you showed me the arancini, but it was the frozen ones, and I did order them, but they've obviously not arrived. But I also saw these, the mushroom arancini. These were in the fresh department. And I thought, oh, I'm going to give them a go. So these were three for five pounds. So I got that and the six chicken and chorizo empanadas. I'm not sure what they're going to be like, but we'll give them a go. And it was meant to be sweet peppers stuffed with cream cheese, I think. But they substituted red cherry peppers with hummus. 
don't know if any of us will like that, but my dad will eat them at Christmas because it's um, best before the 31st of December. So that's fine. I'm pretty sure that was meant to be three for five pounds. Then maybe, maybe they weren't in that deal when they were substituted. I don't know. Right, dairy. Excuse me, puppies. Dairy. I'm not keto, but I'm still loving my creamy coffee. So I've got a tub of double cream. The squirty cream for on top of Jack's coffee. And occasionally mine. And we got three of the semi-skimmed milks because I'm now drinking that. Well, I'm not drinking it. I'm using that with my Weetabix in the morning. I'm going to pop these away and then I'll come back to you. Right, on to juice and cupboard items. So, of course, Raspberry Peps Max has to be done. Four bottles of. My addiction's getting bad again. I'm going to have to start cutting down in the new year. Everything's in the new year now. Um, and I also got the cans of Raspberry Pepsi Max as well for if I'm going out or whatever. Uh, another bottle of the Ribena Winter Spice. Brooke loves it and I've been drinking it as well since I'm not keto and it's down from £2 to one fifty now if anybody's been waiting for it to come down in price. The Raisin Wheaties, um, this is Jack's cereal, he loves that, he goes through about a box a week. However, I ordered one and they've gave me two. This order makes no sense. The 24 wheat bisques, basically Weetabix, they taste exactly the same as Weetabix, but they're about a third of the price. And like I said, I've been loving Weetabix recently. Jack likes soup for his work, and the Heinz soup is six tins for four pounds just now. So we got a pea and ham, chicken, oxtail, scotch broth, lentil and bacon, and beef broth for Jack's lunches. I got. The Christmas tree crumpets, Brooke loved them when the elves brought them for her breakfast and she's been going on about them so I got them again, I'm just going to have to make out that, oh my goodness, the elves must have got them from Asda. Um, best before the 17th, which is two days time, our bread, which is for Brooke's packed lunches, best before the 16th, which is tomorrow, so that will be another refund request, I just noticed that. Now on to the good things. I got this tin of Heroes. It's the Games Edition. Now it was £8 for this tin, but it's a big tin. It is... 800 grams. And I don't know what, exactly what the game is. It looks a bit like a sort of Trivial Pursuit type thing. And it doesn't say on the tin exactly what it is. Whoops. But I thought it would be good fun to play either on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day. So I decided to get it anyway. This was supposed to be the Mr Kipling chocolate orange whirls because I really fancy trying them but they substituted them for the winter whirls and I like these anyway so I just kept them. We all adore these mini caramel shortcake bites and it was two for three pounds or something so we got the two of them. Stuff for the girls to share. A pack of Freddos, flakes. Brooke is loving hot chocolate just now. We've got the Nespresso machine. I've not found any hot chocolate pods for it. However, she loves the um, steamed foamy milk with a flake mixed through it to make the hot chocolate. So, got some flakes. Twirls, they're Abby's favourite. Anybody remember Trio? Trio. I want a trio and I want one now. Love those biscuits. And so do the girls, it turns out. I am desperate to try these. The After Eight's mint and orange flavour. Oh, I can't wait until tomorrow to give these a go. I ain't waiting till Christmas because I love chocolate, I love mint and I love orange. Yum. And finally, the pretzels for Abby, her favourite sour cream and chai pretzels. Like I say... It's more of a sort of festive cheeky haul. It was meant to have other meals in it as well, but like I say, they haven't delivered the frozen stuff. So thankfully Jack and I are going out tomorrow night anyway, so we'll go and ask them and pick it up then. But I'm not a happy bunny. So we will see what Abby eh, what Abby? We'll see what Asda comes back with anyway. Right, thanks for watching. This is the problem with buying stuff early. I forgot that I had bought these for their Christmas Eve boxes. I like to get something for the girls to do or make on Christmas Eve. I forgot I'd got these and I went and ordered other ones off Amazon today. <laughs> and it's too late to cancel now because it's prime. So uh, I think the elves will be bringing these one day soon. <laughs> 
How am I supposed to get anything done with these puppies around? Look at them. <laughs> yes, well, I and you. <laughs> half on the bed and half off it. <laughs> Would you look at these puppies? Look at Clyde and Molly. And Ranach. This is when I start panicking. I've laid it all out. I've spent a fortune, but it looks like there's hardly anything there. Especially Abby's pile over there, it's tiny. Hopefully they will realise that we have spent the money. I just like the visual on Christmas morning. I like the, wow, look at all those presents. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Always panic and start panic buying rubbish at this time. And then it's stuff that just doesn't get played with or used. So I'm going to stay strong. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through each pile and I'm going to separate into Christmas Eve box, stocking and main presents. And then that will do me for the day because I am knackered. I'm sure there must be other stuff hiding somewhere. Hmm. Oh, I've remembered one thing. <laughs> Hee <laughs> In with Santa's um, plate and mug for Christmas Eve, I found another two Christmas mugs. Yay! can't remember when we got these. So one says nice and the other one's an elf costume. Right, so I have now sorted it all. Once I take away the Christmas Eve stuff, the stocking stuff, and their main, main present, which is an expensive thing each, um, they are left with that for Brooke and that for Abby. It isn't much, is it? Tell me the truth in the comments below. Do you think I should get more? We have spent a lot, though. Um, there maybe is still a couple of things to come, but nothing major. Oh, I'm worried now. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, I am absolutely exhausted. I'm having a wee lie down now. Hello, Molly. <laughs> I'm having a wee lie down now before Brooke comes in. It's half past two, so it's taken me most of the day to do all that. Um, apart from when I stopped to have breakfast and things. That's all I've had, actually. Breakfast and a coffee. Um... But I'm glad I did it. It's a job well done. I think I've forgotten stuff, but I can't think of where else I would have hidden them. I'll probably find them after Christmas. I used to slag my mum off for that. She used to come to us in January and say, oh look, I forgot that I bought you this for your Christmas. And I think I'm doing it now. Never mind. So, yeah, panicking slightly, but I would rather have my panic now than Christmas Eve like I normally do when I put everything out and say, oh, not very much. Um, but I think they're at the age now that they realise that things cost a lot of money, so it should be fine. I have sort of panicked, bought a couple of wee extra things on Amazon that will be here tomorrow. But other than that, I think I'm just going to leave it. I do need to get a wee parcel for Jack to open. We don't get each other much. Um, oh. and I have got him and Abby tickets for something that I'm not going to say here. And... Um, I want to get him just another wee parcel to open because I had to tell him about the tickets because he was going to buy them as well for Abby. So I had to tell him. So I want to get him just a wee thing to open. And my mum, her main thing, I've got her a new tablet because her um, Amazon Fire tablet's given up the ghost. So, But she's getting that, like now she's getting that at the weekend when she comes. So I need a few wee things for her to open as well. And my dad, I've got him a £50 gift card for Witherspoons because every time they're here, he always goes there for his breakfast or his dinner or something. So he'll really appreciate that. And I've got him a few wee things to open as well. So I think I'm pretty much done. Yay! Um, I just need to start on the man with the task of wrapping. But I will start that, maybe not tomorrow, because I've got Brooks service at the school tomorrow. Um, but I think that's all I've got on this week. So the rest of the week, I'm going to get that done, hopefully. If not, if it's not all done by the time they finish school, I'm sure my mum will keep them amused. My mum and dad are coming on Thursday, I think, and that will be them here for almost two weeks. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite sure they'll keep them amused for a wee while if I've still got some wrapping to do. So I'm going to get ready to end this vlog. <laughs> Sorry, the dogs are playing. Look at Clyde. Clyde and Rilla. Um, I'm going to get ready to end the vlog here, but first of all, I did promise yesterday in yesterday's vlog that I was going to put something exciting in here. And what it is, is it's a little present from Jack and Abby and Brooke to me. Now, when we were going to Elf, sorry, I hope you can hear me over him playing. Look at them. <laughs> 
Yeah, so when we were on our way to Elf on Saturday, Jack phoned and said, I'm going to send you a WhatsApp, but you need to watch it all together, like me, my mum, Abby and Brooke, and don't watch it when you're driving, which I wouldn't anyway, that's just silly. Um, he says, because you're going to laugh. And I thought, right, okay, what is it? And I thought he'd maybe um, film the dogs doing something daft. So when we got to the SCC, I basically got my phone out and opened the WhatsApp and you're about to see what it was. Now, before I show you, I'm just wanting to remind people who might not know, because I'm disabled, the pet name that Jack, Abby and Brooke use for me, and my mum and dad use for me, is the Gimp. Okay, now that's not meant as offensive to any other disabled person. It's not meant as offensive to anybody. It's not meant as offensive to me. It's a term of affection that they've used ever since I've ended up being disabled. And we think it's hilarious. And uh, so, yeah, you need to know that before you watch this. So I'm going to put this on and then I'll come back. Happy Christmas to Fiona from Jack, Abby and Brooke. We love you. You are our favorite gimp. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So what did you think of that? That was my very own personalized Christmas message from Wagner. Anybody remember Wagner from The X Factor? He was absolutely hopeless, but it looks like this is how he's making his living now. <laughs> and I thought it was an extra special touch when he said that it was his favourite gimp. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. Um, so yes, that was my special exciting thing that I wanted to put in for you. It's a famous person wishing me a Merry Christmas. How exciting. <laughs> right, I'm going to end the vlog here. Tonight, Jack and I are just going through to Falkirk to pick up a table and chairs for Christmas Day because we don't have a dining table. We never sit at a dining Well, we used to have a dining table, but we never ever used it apart from maybe Christmas. And uh, it ended up getting used as a dumping ground for rubbish, so we got rid of it. We had just a... Uh, eat your dinner on your lap, watching the telly kind of family. I know a lot of people don't approve, but that works for us. So we're going through to Falkirk tonight to pick up a table and chairs for Christmas Day. And uh, we're going to nip to Asda to get the things that they didn't deliver. The update is they have refunded, the, well, they've authorised the refund. I've not actually put it through yet, but I've not had another email back. Um, and I've not yet, I've just remembered, I've not tried the After 8s yet. Ooh, I'll need to try them today as well. And I'll let you know tomorrow what I think of them. Right, so I am going to go now because Brooke will be in shortly. And I need to make dinners early since we're going out later. Right, I hope you're all doing well. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 18. Bye!